Have you ever wondered why the Panama Canal, once the marvel of the modern world, is now facing an abrupt decline? The Panama Canal, an engineering marvel and a vital artery of global trade, is a testament to human ingenuity. For over a century, this man-made waterway has connected the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, revolutionizing maritime travel and global commerce. But today, this once bustling canal faces a formidable adversary, climate change. A historic drought has swept across the region, lowering the water levels of the canal and limiting the number and weight of ships that can traverse its waters. This has led to a backlog of vessels waiting to cross, disrupting global shipping capacities. It's not just a minor inconvenience. It's a significant blow to our globalized world, where goods from every corner of the earth crisscross oceans to reach consumers. We're in the peak shipping season, and the repercussions are being felt far and wide. The climate crisis adds a new level of unpredictability to our supply chain, forcing us to reevaluate our reliance on certain ports and possibly leading to higher prices for consumers. As we unravel the mystery behind the decline of the Panama Canal, we find ourselves drawn towards the inescapable reality of climate change. Imagine the world's busiest maritime highway, now choked with congestion. That's the current state of the Panama Canal. This historic drought has left the canal's water levels significantly lower, limiting the number and weight of ships that can pass through. The result? A massive buildup of ships, all waiting their turn to cross this crucial trade route. Now let's talk about the domino effect this has on global trade. Supply chains, already stretched thin due to the pandemic and international tensions, are feeling the strain. Shipping times are delayed and the cost of transportation is on the rise. Consider your favorite pair of sneakers, or that latest tech gadget you've been eyeing. The components, or even the completed products, likely made part of their journey to you via shipping routes. With the Panama Canal's capacity reduced, these items are stuck in transit for longer. This not only means longer wait times for you, but also higher prices. Why, you may ask? Well, time is money. The longer a product is in transit, the more it costs companies, and these costs often trickle down to the consumer. With the canal's functionality compromised, the ripple effects are felt far and wide from delayed deliveries to rising consumer prices. The Panama Canal's dire state isn't just a problem for shippers, it's a wake-up call for all of us. We urge you to take a stand, subscribe to our channel today, and let's work together to shed light on these global issues. Don't just watch, engage, share this video with your friends, your family, your colleagues. It's time for the world to understand the gravity of the situation we're facing. Your click, your share, your voice, they all make a difference. Join us in this journey of discovery and help spread the word about the Panama Canal's decline. So, what's driving the Panama Canal's decline? The answer lies in the changing climate. The lifeblood of the Panama Canal is water. But a historic drought, a striking consequence of climate change has been starving the canal of this essential resource. The drought has led to significantly lower water levels, limiting the number and weight of ships that can pass through. This has caused a buildup of ships waiting to cross the canal, a bottleneck that's impacting global shipping capacity. The climate crisis isn't just about rising temperatures, melting ice caps, or extreme weather events, it's also about unpredictability. Climate change introduces a new level of uncertainty into the equation, making it harder to predict and plan for future scenarios. This is especially true for global supply chains, which rely on predictability to function efficiently. The Panama Canal's decline is a perfect example of this. Who could have predicted that a canal, built over a century ago to facilitate global trade, would be brought to its knees by a lack of rain? It's this unpredictability that's forcing businesses to turn to predictive weather analysis, trying to forecast the unforeseeable. But even the best predictions can't change the underlying issue. The decline of the Panama Canal is not an isolated incident, but a symptom of a larger, more pervasive problem. It's a stark reminder of the urgent need to address the climate crisis. The Panama Canal's decline is yet another stark reminder of the urgent need to address the climate crisis. As the Panama Canal's future hangs in the balance, what does the road ahead look like? The challenges we face are immense, but they also present opportunities for change and innovation. Consider the diversification of supply chains. By not relying on a single route or source, we can build resilience into our global trade networks, reducing the impact of unforeseen circumstances like the present situation with the Panama Canal. Moreover, this crisis could spur investment in alternative manufacturing hubs. 
countries and businesses that have previously been on the periphery of global trade could find themselves at the forefront, driving economic growth and creating new employment opportunities. And let's not forget technology. Predictive weather analysis, for instance, can help us prepare for and mitigate the effects of climate change on crucial infrastructure. The road ahead may seem daunting, but remember, every challenge is a call to action, a chance to rethink, reevaluate, and rebuild. The future may seem uncertain, but one thing is clear. The Panama Canal's decline is a global issue that requires our immediate attention.